So how do you glue your shoes when the soles are coming apart? In this video, I'm gonna give you my best tips and tools and a four-step training tutorial that'll help you do the job just like a professional. Coming up. guys, Terry Edmonds here coming to you from my shoe shop in Maui, Hawaii called If The Shoe Fits. I'm a cobbler and a shoemaker amongst other things, but today specifically a cobbler. And I'm going to share with you my training tips for doing a shoe gluing. They're different. There are about four different types of uh, gluing that you'll do, uh, shoes that you'll come across that take different treatments. And in those, I'm going to make special videos for each one. An Air Jordan, because I get a lot of those, a Birkenstock, and um, some basics. So um, you can click those links here, and I'll take you right to those videos. But in this video, it's the basic. It's a good one, you'll wanna stick around, because I'm gonna show you how to mix your glue and apply it. So once you get these four steps down, you can do any type of a shoe. And like I said, with the assistance of my other video tutorials, you'll get the job done just like a professional. <laughs> so here we go and let's get started. Hi guys, here we are at the start of your training video. Um, I use, this is my industrial grade contact cement. If they're huge, because I do a lot of gluing. But I love this, and uh, this I'm actually recommending for you barge cement, uh, which is what I've created the link for, which is excellent. Um, I do like to cut my um, glue with a little bit of thinner, so um, it makes it sh I can control how much it dries out, basically, because this is my uh, glue pot, <laughs> and even though it looks like a glue volcano right now. This is actually a um, uh, non-stick glue pot. So I, I use mine all the time. It constantly gets dirty. I clean it, it's dirty again, whatever. You can expect that. I did put a link in this though. See, I really like this because it's got that glue in the, the brush in the lid. And uh, so what I do is if you're gonna get this glue pot, which I highly recommend if you do a lot of gluing, it actually stays pretty well in here. And like I said, you can add the thinner. So glue pot. I put my glue pretty much to this will be my fill line right here. And then I'll go ahead and add quite a bit of thinner. Uh, my glue is pretty good. This is how runny you want it to be right here. Uh, you can see it in the video, but it's nice and runny. So I don't have to mix too much more, which is great. Um, but if I if it were thick, I would put a little bit of thinner in there and that makes it up really, really good. Okay. Um, so that's one of those important things you need to have. Another thing that I really like is I have this glue gun and this is actually like an oil can and I got it at Napa Auto Parts. It is quite a lovely, uh, it's, again, it gets glue on it. I have to clean it off all the time, but this really gets into a lot of areas on a shoe that you can't get the brush into or possibly where you want more control where the glue goes. Um, for instance, this shoe right here is a suede shoe, and um, and um, I you don't want to get glue all over this suede, so you want to be careful about. So in an instance like that, I might use my glue gun just to get a little spot there. You know, I don't want it to spread because once I get it on the suede, you can't get it off. So anyway, that's awesome. I love my tool. Another thing that I use, um, I use sandpaper. I actually use my sanding machine to prep a lot of my items, but for you do it at home users, I just use some sanding paper and I get some different grits. Um, <clears throat> a little rougher grit is kind of nice because it'll really eat through the glue and clean your shoe for you easier before you put the contact cement on. So I like that. And then I also use my trusty screwdriver um, when I'm Breaking a shoe apart, which you really want to do, um, you, you know, sometimes it's helpful to have your screwdriver kind of get into these little places and help wedge it away for you. So I use that, and that's pretty much it. I also uh, use my respirator. I recommend them to anybody. Uh, this one happens to be special, where it keeps out the um, fumes from the glue. 
So I've shown you some of the tools that I use. Now I'm going to show you the four-step process. But the very first step is disassemble. I tell most people that it's hardly ever just one spot of glue that you're trying to fix. It's usually, if it's coming unglued somewhere, it's the whole shoe that needs to be taken apart. You might as well do it right the first time. See that? So um, this shoe, uh, disassemble. I'm gonna check things, like I'm gonna check inside some of these little ridges. You know, do they need some spot glues? And this one doesn't look so bad. I think I'll use my glue gun and put a couple of little light shots in there just to make sure that sticks. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, we wanna keep the foam, it's not disintegrating. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a couple of shots of glue right there because I want that to stick later. And uh, for me, that's pretty good. Now, the second step is to sand the shoe. Sometimes these shoes, uh, well, this is old glue. So we wanna go ahead and, and use your paper, sandpaper with a decent grit, and go ahead and uh, scrape off some of this old glue. The other thing that you'll find is um, some shoes are not real leather uppers. And so let's say I took this off and this were not a real leather upper. It would have paint. It's paint on fabric. And so that paint is what kind of pulls away sometimes and you wanna sand that off if you don't get rid of that and you try to glue the shoe back together again, just that another layer of paint's gonna come off and the shoe will come unglued. Point here, sand it down and really get rid of any extra things that are gonna block the glue from sticking to the leather. All right, so we've done step one, disassemble. Step two, we've sanded the shoe. Step three is to actually glue the shoe. Okay, so I've done the gluing now, and step four is assembly, okay? Okay, so I've waited a good, you know, 20 minutes for this glue to cure, which is what you wanna do, um, when, especially when you're putting two, these two sides together. So as you can see, I glued one side and glued the other. I let them dry for 20 minutes, which is the point of contact cement. Contact cement, when you let it dry like that, it sticks. If I put these together, they're gonna stick. So, I wanna be very careful. I'm looking at the pattern lines, it's like a puzzle. I see that this is where that foam piece used to sit, so that's good, I'll make sure to line that up. And the heel, this, this shoe, the sole, did not wrap around the shoe, so it's a nice flat surface, that'll be easy. So I'll probably start at the toes, that's where I usually start when I go to assemble. And I'll just kind of make sure that these line up just about right. Like I said, it's like a puzzle. You can kind of see it. There we go. And then I like to go ahead and look at, tell those aren't lining up right. Let's look at the back of the heel. 
and sometimes it's really funny you can see there's a it's like a jigsaw puzzle where one piece fits the other and you can see little ridges like where the leather has puckered it's kind of done the same thing on the sole so I can see where that mark is and I'll go ahead and bring this toe in here to match the front toe make sure we get that to fit and I'm looking all the way around before I stick this thing perfectly together and I can tell that it's a little bit big on this side so let's really get that to match up there we go and I do that before I put the the middle part of the sole together I really want to get the edges to work first um, especially since it's so particular there we go very nice and some people like to use clear glue, but I kind of like the yellow because I can see the pattern better. I can see where the glue is, the line of the glue, which really helped me here, see? I can tell where it is. I can move it and manipulate it. And then if I have any overage, which I have a couple little spots, um, I'll, I can clean them up with some thinner. That works really well. Or even some paint. You know, maybe some white paint or something. I'll, I'll touch up, but uh, yeah, that looks great. I love that. All right, and we'll go ahead with our Angelus paint. I love my Angelus paint. I have almost all the colors. And Angelus has come out with some new colors, and I'm really excited. I just want all of them. I just don't know what I would do with them. I mean, who uses metallic neon orange? Anyway, let's not use that brush. Let's do a different brush. This one's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this little brush. I'm just gonna come in to these little areas that are just showing a smidgen of glue. Just go over that and clean it up a little bit. I put a link to this Angela's paint in the description and um, I really like it. It just, it covers leather quite nicely. So, and white shoes can almost never be polished back white again. I got a, a YouTuber uh, was talking to me about the frustration of that. And it's true, you know, almost the only thing you can do to a white shoe to get rid of scuffs, permanent scuffs and things is to actually paint over it. So there we are done. Wonderful. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and just reassemble the other one as well. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So again, I'm going to go ahead and line up the toe box. I can see that right there. Very nice. And I'll come back here to the heel. We'll get that heel right on there. Just right and voila perfect I love it and we'll go ahead and put a, a bit more paint on there and I usually I, I mentioned this before but I usually tell clients to wait um, about five days before you wear your shoes if you really want to make sure that it, it adhered um, if you have to start going into a shoe and putting on more layers of glue, um, then it will it can it can pile up and have less of a chance of sticking. So there we go. Your basic gluing of a simple shoe done. Steps one through four. I love it. It's gonna be great. Well, I hope that was helpful for you today and you found some value in that. As you can see, there were different ways that I had to sand that material, um, apply the glue, and obviously mixing the glue. So um, you just keep using those tools. I do have a link to this specifically, uh, the steps on these, on my website for you at terryedmonds.com, where you can also find a lot of the tools that I mentioned for you uh, that I used today. I did use a respirator and I highly recommend it. If you get close, you can see vapors on glue. It is not good for you. 
well-ventilated area and always use a respirator to protect your beautiful lungs because if you're really an aspiring uh, shoe artist, then uh, you're gonna be in this for a while. So take care of yourself. I do care about you and I want to impart that most important piece of information. <laughs> Thank you again so much for joining my uh, show and subscribing to my YouTube channel. And again, you can always ask me questions in the comments down below. I'd be happy to address any of your specific concerns. Thank you so much. And again, from Maui, aloha.